Uh, let me direct my comments uh, right here to a gentleman, I think his name was Dave, in uh, Sydney, B.C., who phoned and told me to shut up, by the way. Charming. Yeah. Well, no, he says that he watches a bunch of music all the time. He and his pals, he's an ambulance attendant or something, and they watch all the time. And some days we play lots of videos, but some days you talk too much. Oh, really? So today I'm in battle mode. Uh, David Jones, we've met once before. Great to see you. Good to see you, too. Um, so here we are. We're sitting in our environment. Environment. Yes. yes. And last time you were here, um, you were surrounded by, I remember, there was uh, Mickey and there was uh, Peter. And oh, by the way, I don't know if you knew this. Oh, of course you knew this. About 20 seconds before airtime. Please don't remind me. Did Acid flashbacks. 20 seconds before airtime, Peter walked on our interview. I know. Well, he gets a bit sensitive about certain things. I think it was a magazine you were holding at the time. It was a... Um, Rolling Stone. Right. And I, I think they had reported him quite... Um, um, in the wrong way for Peter yeah. to, to accept, you know. So he says, well, I don't want to talk to the Rolling Stone anymore. You're holding one of those Rolling Stones. Mind you, he still have his fish and chips in it, so That's right. I don't know what's wrong with him. That's right. So, so uh, you're here solo? I'm here doing a couple of dates. Um, I'm going to be um, in Canada. Actually, it's the first time I've ever appeared in Canada on my own. Right. Um, I first came here in 65, actually. I played the O'Keefe Centre, playing the artful Dodger in Oliver. And uh, then I got hooked up with those guys in the monkeys. But uh, I'm doing a couple of dates. I was in Ottawa last night. I'm going to be here um, tonight at um, Entex. The Entex, yeah. And tomorrow. Tonight, tonight, by the way, would be Thursday night if it's Friday morning. Thursday, right. And then uh, Friday, Saturday, we're going to be at uh, Lulu's. Which has the world's biggest bar. We're biggest bar, about. yes. Yeah. Uh, send me a beer. <laughs> All right. Five minutes later, it comes me down your beer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just um, going out there and having a good time. Next year, I hope to put a tour together. Maybe get into the studio, cut some records. You know, it's right. just keep going. This is, I mean, because you could do, you could do a lot. I mean, you have a lot of theater background, a lot of, a lot of theater that you could do. Um, I actually went back into Oliver this last year. Did you? Yeah. I, Not I, as the art for Dodger. No, I started talking like this, my dear. Come yeah. over here, sit down by the fire. Dodger, take off the sausages. It hurt my throat a little bit, yeah. but uh, I did it, and it was for a season down in Florida. I enjoyed it very much. Theater is a real. A real buzz for me. Yeah. Well, this is theatre. Come on, what this are you talking is, this about? Is, this is acting, because I'm not, I'm not really a VJ. It just says so in my no, business no, card. No. I mean, you guys, I mean, you're still the same, fresh. It's good. Oh, I like it. I like All you. this time passed, yeah. and you're still here doing it. It's yeah. Quite a, quite a feat. You, you, there's never any holes. I mean, again, like I said, the, there's never any holes in, in what you do. You can be busy, or you can be as busy as you want to. Right? I think so. On a, on a certain level, you can. I mean, uh, the clubs uh, that we're, we're, that I'm playing right now are nice clubs and they're comfortable. I'm putting together a, an act, so I'm slowly breaking it in for myself. I, I'm singing some monkey tunes and I've got some new tunes that I want to sing. The idea is to go straight out there. I don't have an album, I don't have a re recording contract. Right. To go straight out there and actually say, okay, here's my new collection of tunes. To me, it would be a bit, um, a bit difficult because I'm not known for... Uh, being a you know sort of like a, a rocker or a, a singer in general I do sing but I'm more of an entertainer so I sing some of the monkey tunes and I sing some of some new tunes that I do I just like to break into that area of uh, music yeah. very slowly although you know saying that we sold a lot of records of the monkeys but that was as a band not as a solo artist yeah. and so it's very difficult to get people to come out and say well okay well show us what you do because there's somebody out there that wants to hear daydream believer or last train to class for mm -hmm. believer and my my new stuff and the stuff that I want to sing eventually obviously you can't kick it all out you want to go see Mick Jagger you want to hear him sing satisfaction or Paul McCartney singing yesterday um, or Robert Plant singing stairway to heaven but he ain't gonna do it don't do it <laughs> uh, uh, what was I gonna ask here uh, so is this an experiment like a petri dish the stuff that you're doing for, for like say an album next year or whatever the case may be um, this is sort of the appetizer yeah, yeah. this is sort of like um, for me to, to see whether I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable doing it because I get out there and I sort of rapidly rap and I talk. I don't just go song, 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 song. Mm -hmm. I sort of come into my head, I speak about it, I talk about it. It's not so question time. But um, I would just like to see um, Maybe how what's it like to be you? <laughs> stand up, I am standing up. What are you standing in a hole? Yeah. Um, I'd just like to see how I feel about it, you know? I know that there are some monkey fans out there that will come anyway, no matter what I'm doing, but I want to see if it feels all right for me, you yeah. know? And uh, it's feeling all right, and so maybe next year I can get into touring. I don't know, maybe touring with some other people. There's been a few people approach me and say, why don't you go out with this band, that band? But it keeps turning into a sort of 60s revival for me, which, which you I'm, I'm not really too against, but I'd like to start, you know, making some more music, some new music. When did that 
when did that, oh, by the way, I just want to tell, encourage the, the young people at home too to do this. Uh, myself and a bunch of my pals will be rushing the stage tonight. Okay. Okay. Rushing the yeah, stage. Yeah, we're going to rush the stage. So you kids at home. I'm, I'm an expert it, at rushing. Yes. I mean, I, went, I rushed Jackie Kennedy at the boat show. I saw all these men standing around and I rushed in front of her and I said, hi. She said, hi. I said, I'm Davy Jones. She said, pleased to meet you, Davy Jones. I said, Goodbye. And I ran, you know, sort of like pathetic, but I did it. But, and you didn't puke. I didn't puke. I just ran into a boat, you know, like, felt like Bong. a fool. Bong. So, but kids, again, rush the stage. It's something oh, fun please, to do. It's please. something you remember when you're old and you encourage your kids to do, too. I rushed and trampled Davy Jones. A hair, uh, an heirloom, so to, so, so to speak, to pass on. Um, oh, who, who's your band? Any, anybody that we would know? Any uh, Not really. Any, Some chaps you? that I met down uh, in um, Indiana. I was down there working uh, with a... Um, doing a fair, a pot fest or something, they called me and I said, yeah, I'd come. And um, I used a band that was down there and these guys uh, play well and they show up on time and they're not drunk, so it, work, it works wonderful for me. What do, you think, uh, what do you think about this revival? Why well, shouldn't say revival, just the rejuvenation of, of Donny Osmond, David Cassidy. I think it's fabulous. Yeah. Donny Osmond um, deserves success. He's a very talented man, he sings well. I've never spoken to him up for 20 years, personally. I met him when he was doing the Andy Williams show years ago with, it, with his family. Yeah. Uh, David Cassidy I know quite well. He, um, he breeds horses, I'm into horses too, so um, in the nicest possible sense. And anybody home, raise your hand if you're into horses too. You want to see that? Sorry. Now come on, don't be shy. <laughs> Um, and he works in theatre, David, and uh, I don't know, I've not heard his record. Uh, I, I heard one of Donnie's a couple of years ago, but, uh, you know, whatever pays the bills. And sure. if they're enjoying it and the people are going, then that's fine with me. Great. I don't feel in competition with anything. Yeah. Obviously, they say, well, you know, they're all 60s acts that were hits then. Let's see what you can do. And hopefully they'll come down tonight and see me at the, um, at at the club. At Antics. 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 Yeah. Okay, showtime, uh, well, whatever. Just get, to Antics. Get, get there early. Don't get there too late. Yeah, yeah just get there. Get there at all 6. All you early rushes. Get there at 6. Just hang around, wait. And, you know, service the bar. So and then get angry by about 10 30. You know, where it. is the little shh? Oh! <laughs> uh, and I won't ask you this question, but I'll ask well, you. Don't, don't expect you to me. answer it. <laughs> What's the deal with this Don Kirshner uh, thing at night? This, this ad. This, I got a call. Did they pay you a million dollars? No, they didn't. You know what we're talking about I here? I got a call. <laughs> the from award show. A guy, a representative, okay, of Don Kirshner. Don, I know him for 25 years. And they said, will you come and be on Don Kirshner's Rock Awards show? I said, sure. I thought I was going to be a contestant. I got into the hotel room. They gave me this script. And I said, I'm the host. Well, that's very nice. Thank you. Then I got there. And in between shooting, I all of a sudden saw, this is God's truth, I saw on the thing saying, all these artists are available on <laughs> one album. I went, this is a commercial. commercial. They said, no, it's an infomercial. I said, an infomercial? What do you mean? An information commercial, boom de bum So yeah. I said, Okay, well I've done it, and I, you know, I mean, I, how can you walk out you on an You should have given the money to charity. <laughs> oh yes, well I, give it to me. I did. I gave it to my eldest daughters. Did you? They like charity, yes. I, I mean, well, you know what 22 and 23 year olds are like, you know? Yeah. They need every penny they can get. I, I certainly know what 23 and, and 24 year olds are like. And they take every penny I've got, I'll tell you. Wait a minute. Uh, anyway, so uh, thank you for coming in again. It's uh, a pleasure. And I won't ask you about Mike Nesmith's mom's uh, patent on things and all kinds of questions I wanted to ask you. Um, however, we have MC 900 foot Jesus coming in. So we're going oh, really? to have to, yeah, so as soon as you get up, well, it's buzzing here. Yeah. It's a, it, it is a boost. <laughs> That'll help me a little bit to... And text. Uh, and Thursday night and Lulu's on Friday and Saturday, Davy Jones' uh, solo stuff. Uh, thanks again. It's a pleasure. So and let's go back, way back. Well, look, let's go back a little bit. Um, here's Davy singing lead vocal on something from the past. You little kids, pay attention, would you? <laughs>